We are now entering the latter part of the summer, and in just a few weeks, the political campaign will be heating up again. So right now, we have Dave Yonkai from the Lulac Political Letter. So of course, the primary election is over. Do they get a break? Not really. They have a victory party. They enjoy themselves. But then a couple of days later, the elves of the political kingdom come out. You know, Santa has their elves. Right. Well, the political candidates have their elves. So and no these, summer. No summer. These are the people that in the summertime uh, work out a candidate's schedule. What they also try to do is look at media and see what they did right in the primary and what they did wrong in the primary and how they could bolster their candidate for the fall election. Now listen, every time you come on the show, you always have such great ties. Love this one today. Right, thank you. This particular tie is um, uh, Hard Day's Night by the Beatles. And the reason why I wore that is because the you might ask the question regarding a political candidate, you know, what events would they go to in the summertime? Sure, what do they do? They should go to parties, they should go to uh, bazaars, church picnics, fireman's picnics. But what you don't want to do when you're a male political candidate, you don't want to wear a tie to these, a tie to these things. Because everybody knows that I came out of the womb in a tie. But if you're a male political candidate, you don't want to wear a tie because you want to look relaxed. If you're a female candidate, what you don't want to you do definitely is... definitely don't want to wear you don't want, a tie. Well, well it, could, it could be a good look, right? But what you don't want to do is you don't want to wear heels. Because you're going to be standing all day when you're greeting the people, when you're in the barbecue line and everything. So what you want to do is you want to wear sensible shoes. So male candidates, if you're going to the bazaars and the church picnics, no ties. Female candidates, what you don't want to do is you don't want to wear um, high heels. And you want to look approachable and relatable. And you you certainly want to do. And this is where the elves come in. Because you ever notice when a political candidate will engage somebody and say, hey, listen, you know, I understand that you were in the hospital. How do they know that this person was in the hospital? There is an elf that is whispering in their ear saying, you see that guy in that orange sweater over there? Hospital. Canada comes up, hey, you're in the hospital, how are you feeling? All of a sudden, that guy tells 10 people and the candidate has more voters. Oh, wow. This okay. is what the elves do. Wow. So what's the worst thing to happen to a prospective candidate in the summertime? The worst thing that could happen is if somebody takes your message and if somebody uh, takes your entire message and completely, completely distorts it. I will give you an example. President Kerry, in 2004, he had a three-time Medal of Honor winners, war hero, what happened was his message was distorted. You want to make sure that your opponent does not distort your message and take away from what you want to do. Awesome. All right. How can we follow you online? It's uh, www.lulacpoliticalletter.blogspot or you could Google LULAC and that stands for Luzerne and Lackawanna County. All right. David Yonkai, come back next time and I can't wait to see your tie. I might wear a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> you, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. All